Busy, busy. Uh, studio's finished. What next? A showbiz star. Earth. Welcome to family fun for you with me, Les Dennis. Where are you? You're too. Why you can't grab me? I'm a game show. Ah. Next, you munchies. Yum, yum. What are you doing? What are you doing? You, you can't eat it. I can. Put him down. Watch me. Fella. The Five Fo Yum! And today's contestants, all the way from Scotland, it's the Tartan Terrors! And they'll be playing against the Busy Bees from London. Here's a taste of the thrills and spills that stand between them and their freedom! Every time's favourite host, it's Dez the Coming Les Dennis! Whoa! Oh, here I am! Here I am! Here I am! Hello! Hello and welcome to Fee Fi Fo Yum! The show where the team that's not the winner will be Brian's winner! Yeah. Yeah. That's right! Yes, one of our team of human cheese will end up in Brian's tum. <laughs> You all right, Brian? Sorry about the noise, Des. I dropped a cup. It just slipped out my hand. Oh, well, that's a smashing start to the show. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't get it. No, I didn't think you would. OK, I'll get on with the show. Is that all right? Let's meet the teams. First of all, we meet <laughs> the Tartan Terrors. Hiya, Jonathan. Hi, Wes. Introduce us to your team. Hey, Sam. Hiya, Sam. Hi, Wes. Fraser. Hi, Fraser. Hi, Liz. Jordan. Hi, Jordan. Hi, Liz. Chloe. Hi, Chloe. Hi, Liz. Good to meet you. <laughs> so, what kind of team are you? Do you reckon? Um, we're an um, amazing team. An amazing team. Yeah. And how would you feel about ending up in Brian's tum? Um, really sad. Amazingly sad. So there we go. That is the Tom Terrors. <laughs> Let's go over and meet the busy bees. <laughs> Hi, Taria. Hi, Liz. How are you doing? Fine. Introduce us to your team. This is Demi. Hi, Liz. Hi, Demi. Jay. Hi, Jay. Hi, Liz. <laughs> Angelica. Hi, Angelica. Hi, Liz. And Soren. Hi, Soren. Hi, Liz. Why do you call yourselves the Busy Bees, Taria? Um, because it's a football team made by me and Soren. You play in the football team, the Busy Bees, so you borrowed the name for a while? Yes, we borrowed it. You borrowed it. OK, borrowed it. All right, that's the teams. <laughs> This is how we play Fee Fi Fo Yum. You will compete in a series of games in order to win time. The more time you win, the better chance you have of winning the great escape at the end of the show. So let's get the show on the road and play the first game! Yeah! Apart from you munchies, that's you guys, Brian's favourite meal is meatballs and sprouts. He Ooh, absolutely delicious. loves them. So your aim in this game is to feed him as many as possible. You will be using the catapults that Brian has provided for you, made out of matchsticks and sticking plasters. OK, now then, teams, the more you feed him, the more you stand a chance of winning the game. And the first team to do so will get the first five-second lifeline. OK, Brian, let's find out who's going to play. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. I think you should have a go. Jordan? And Sam. Hmm. I think I'd like uh, Taria and Soren. I'm watching you. Brian has spoken. Teams, let's play. Feed me. Tartan Terrors, you'll be firing sprouts. Busy Bees, you'll be firing meatballs. You have until Brian's egg timer runs out to feed him. Good luck. Brian, over to you. Ready, steady, feed me. That's it. Straight in. The more you get in, the more chance you'll have of playing the great escape and winning it. Oh, that was right in the chin. That left. Chin. Need to really pull back and fire. And... Oh, oh you have a thick lip from that one. Oh, oh just going on his chin, Brian. This isn't your day, mate. Oh. He's had them everywhere. On the chin, up his nose. He's got in that twist. 
lifted up. Oh, well, getting it in the neck there, Brian. Oh, they're swapping over here on the busy bees, the swapping players. Oh, hard luck. You so you had the right idea there. And the sprout got in. That's time up. Rejoin your teams. Back at your desks. So, Brian, how many sprouts did you eat? Four. Four, that's good, Tartan Terrace. And how many meatballs? None. None. So hard luck, busy bees. It means the Tartan Terrace get the first five seconds. <laughs> There's still all to play for. That's it from part one of T5 Faux Young. Are you sick of all those minty fresh toothpaste out there? I know I was. Then I discovered Cheesy Chops toothpaste, and I've never looked back. Introducing Threezy Cheesy from Cheesy Chops, the new toothpaste your mouth will love. And with three stripes of the most stinky cheese, you can finally achieve the morning breath you've always wanted. Yellow cheese encourages plaque and tartar. Green cheese promotes rotting gums. And blue cheese guarantees horrible breath. Mm. Three times the cheese, three times the decay, three times the stink. Cheesy Chops, it's a toothpaste revolution. When you're a dirty, great, big, stinking giant, you want your yearly bark to be special. But with all that grime, it can be difficult to get things nice and foamy. Well, help is at hand in the shape of Bot Buster Bubble Blast. Concocted from a unique blend of rotten sprouts, mouldy cabbage and our finest homegrown Bot Buster beans, Bot Buster Bubble Blast gives you the gas to guff. Just look at those bum bubbles. Bot Buster Bubble Blast. A couple of gulps guarantees results. Welcome back to Fee Five Pop Yum. At the end of that first, hang on a minute. What's going on, Brian? Oh, sorry, Des. I don't know what time we'll be here. I tripped over the wire. I'll put it back in the wall. Yeah, yeah. Go on. Prince of Darkness. I'm awfully sorry about that. He's so accident prone. So, at the end of that first round, the Tartan Terrors fed four of those sprouts to Brian and got the first five second lifeline. Well done. But there's still plenty of time up for grabs. What does time mean? Freedom. Yeah, yeah, it does. And this is Brian's favorite part of the show. So, go on, Brian. Introduce it. Oh, it's Desi's Tasty Challenge! I've had enough! I've really had enough! I've told you how many times! It's Les's Tasty Challenge! All right, all right, calm down, Wiggy. It's not a wig! Desi's Tasty Challenge! It's not a wig, it's not a wig, it's not a wig, is it? Is it, Jay? No, it isn't, Des. Hang on a minute. You're really tall and you just call me Des. Brian, what's going on? That's my boy, Jay. <laughs> OK. Let's go on to Des Le Les's Tasty Challenge. Now then, teams, under this dish is a type of food that Brian has put here. I have no idea Yum. what it is. You have to guess how much of it I can eat in 30 seconds. Is that clear, teams? Yes, yes Les! Les. Yes. OK. Let's reveal the meal. <laughs> Lemon! <laughs> Lemons. I've got to eat as many lemons as I possibly can in 30 seconds, mm. and you have to guess Ow. how many of them I can eat. Do I have to eat the actual everything, the skin and everything, Brian? Yeah. Suck them dry. Suck them dry. <laughs> Lovely. OK, OK. So how many of these lemons can I suck dry in 30 seconds? Write down your guesses now on your cards. Yeah. Keep them to yourselves, though. Six. Shh. Four. Four. Five. Eight. Oh. First he has to go at me about the wig. He's saying that it's a wig, and now he's got me sucking lemons up. Oh, Brian, one of these days I'll get out of here. I will get my revenge. OK. Did you write down your guesses? Yes. Keep them to yourselves. 
30 seconds I have starting. Once I have the lights, please, Brian. Starting now. Fifteen seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time up. You've started, so you're finished. Oh God! <laughs> I've been the Godfather. <laughs> so. Tom Terrace, how many lemons did you guess that I could suck dry in 30 seconds? We guessed four. Four. Oh. And what about you, Busy Bees? How many did you guess? We guessed six. Oh. Six. So, Brian, how many lemons did I suck dry in 30 seconds? Des, you sucked seven lemons dry. Seven, so that means the Busy Bees are the closest with six. Yeah. You get what an exciting great escape we will have at the end of the show. We're going to take a break. Which team of few munchies will end up in Brian's tum? Find out soon. Love that part of the show. Oh, I may be a bit hungry, though. He by so yum. We'll be back after these giant messages. <laughs> When you're in a hurry and you're going to be late It's time to get some breakfast served up quickly on your plate So when you're in a hurry with a grumbly song Grab Humanchi Crunchy and the job is done New Humanchi Crunchy is packed with the hearty goodness of thousands of Humanchis Lightly toasted until golden brown and glazed in honey for that extra crunch Humanchi Crunchy Makes your breakfast fun Grab you munchy crunchy and the job is done! Woo! Harry Mary! Harry Pitts really are the pits. So for a smoother, more feminine you, try the Harry Mary Furry Pit Rip and Strip. Simply apply and rip! Yeah, the pain is like nothing you've ever felt, but oh mama, is it worth Ooh. it! Look at all that fuzz-free flesh. Woo! Because I'm Harry. She's so scary. <laughs> Welcome back to Harry Mary. Oi, Brian, keep the noise down, Butterfingers. Sorry, Des. All right, now then, at this point in the game, we have the Tartan Terrors with five second lifeline, and we also have the Busy Bees with a five second lifeline. So there's all to play for as we get into our next game. Now then, Brian has hidden a load of fridge magnets in this lime jelly. Your job is to dive in, get them out, and create a sum that equals Brian's lucky number. What's your lucky number today, Brian? My lucky number is 26. Is that all clear, teams? Yes, yes! yes. Let's find out who's going into the jelly. Mm, I like the look of... Fraser. I want Jay. <laughs> you look like a nice lanky bite. And who's making the sum? Hmm. I'm gonna go with Chloe and Jonathan. And Angelica and Demi. Truly scrumptious. Ryan has spoken. Let's play. Lucky numbers! Fraser and Jay, you will be diving for the magnets. You will pass them to Chloe and Angelica, who will then pass them on to Jonathan and Demi, who will actually calculate the sum. You can only have five magnets at any one time, and the team that first correctly gets Brian's lucky number will win the five-second lifeline. Good luck, teams. Goggles on. Three, two, one, go! Particular numbers, let them know what you need. 
Get a fool, get a fool, get a fool, get a fool. That's it, put your numbers down and then come up with your song. So, do you have an idea of what song you want? It looks like times two equals. So, what are you looking for? Hey, come on! Get a times. You're not looking for a newspaper. That's it. it give, encourage your teams. Come on, I need to encourage them. Jonathan wants an ad. Fraser, go for what they want. They know what song they want. The Tom Terrors just buzzed first there. So what is your sum? What have you done, Jonathan? Tell uh, me. Four add nine makes 13, mm. and I times it by two, which makes 26. Brian, mm. are you happy with that? Carol Vorderman, eat your heart out. It's correct. It's right. Well done. You get the yeah. This is easy. We're just behind. But what was your sum? Five times five plus one. Equals 26, but you were just behind on the buzzer, so you don't get a lifeline. We're going to take a break, but teams, pay close attention to the ads because I will be quizzing you on them. And you can play along at home as well. Not that your life depends on it. Sometimes it feels like you'll never get your home smelling right. Still not stinky enough, is it? You need plug and pong. Simply plug it in and pick from three pongy settings. Manure, sour milk and rotten veg. And every hour your home will be blessed with a silent but violent trump of fresh poopery fragrance. The new plug and pong, exclusive to GTV. Looks like you need new mm. dental floss. No money? No problem. Get your hands on some as good as new dental floss. As good as new floss is much more fun. Look at all those yummy bits from someone else's teeth to snack on. Go on, give it a go. And here's the best part. As good as new dental floss is half the price. Who needs brand new when you can have as good as new? As good as new products are not actually as good as new products. It's just a catchy name. Welcome back to Fee Fi Fo Young Teams. Were you watching those commercials closely? Or like me, did you have to turn away? <laughs> well, I'm going to ask you some questions on them. And if you think you have an answer, buzz in. If you give me a correct answer, I will give you a two-second lifeline. If it is incorrect or you don't say anything at all, I will pass it over to your opponents. OK, at this point, the Tartan Terrors have ten seconds lifeline so far. <laughs> And the Busy Bees have a five-second lifeline, so there's still plenty to play for, and this is your last chance to possibly win life-saving time. Good luck, fingers on your buzzers, as we play... Ad Analysis. OK, teams, here's your first question. In the plug and pong range, how many pongy settings are there to choose Tom from? Terrors. Tartan Terrors? Three. Let's see if you're right. Simply plug it in and pick from three pongy settings. Yes, well done. The first two seconds of it goes to you. Oh, that was an easy one. Question two. Can you name two of those pongy settings? Tartan Terrors. Yes. Sour milk and um, manure. Do you remember the other one? Yeah, um, rotten veg. Let's see if you're right. Manure, sour milk and rotten veg. Yes, well done. You gave me all three, but I can only give you two seconds. I knew that one. <laughs> Question three. How often does Plug and Pong release a Busy trumpet? Bees. Busy Bees. Um, every three hours. <coughs> no, I'm going to have to hand that over. You hesitated and you got it wrong. Every hour. Every hour? Let's see if you're right. And every hour, your home will be blessed with a silent but violent trump of fresh poopery fragrance. Well done. <laughs> Question four. Where do all the yummy bits in as good as new dental floss Tartan come terrors. from? <gasps> Tartan Terrors. Um, from other people's mouth. Teeth. Sorry? From other people's <laughs> teeth. From other people's teeth. <laughs> Let's see if you're right. 
Look at all those yummy bits from someone else's teeth to snack on. Yes, you are right. Another two seconds, so you've got to get in quicker, guys. Question five. Compared to new dental floss, how much is Charm as good as Terrence. new? Uh, it's not. It's not. <coughs> no, that's not the right answer. So, Busy Bee's a chance to earn two seconds here. I'll ask you the question again. Compared to new dental floss, how much is as good as new? Not as new. Not new at all. Not, not, not new at all. all. How much is it? How Zero. much is it? Zero. Let's have a look. As good as new dental floss is half the price. No, it's half the price, so no, no seconds. Come there on, you monkeys. Well, it means at the end of this round, the Tartan Terror's got four right, which gives you an eight second lifeline. Well done. <laughs> Busy B, sadly, you didn't score. How does that affect your overall lifeline? Let's take a look. After the weather from Windy Wendy. Oh. Here's the forecast wherever you live in Giant Land. Hello there, it's Windy Wendy Weather Vane with your GTV weather. Now today's going to be very windy. But the wind is moving north for a change. So residents of Belch, watch out. And that's your weather. I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. <clears throat> Fee fi fo yum things are getting really serious teams this is down to you brian doesn't pick anymore you must decide who will take on the great escape <laughs> go into your huddles team this is really important for both teams because they must decide who will play and whoever steps up to the mark will have the fate of their teammates in their hands um. it's particularly hard for the team that's behind because they have to play catch up Okay. Teams, out of your huddle, I need to know who's playing for you. So, Tartan Terrors, who's playing and why? We think Jonathan's playing for us because he's strong, fast, and he's going to get us to feed him. Okay, good. And Busy Bees, who's playing for you? Um, we have picked Soren because he's small and he can get in small places and he's fast. That's a good tactic. That means Jonathan and Soren, it's time for. Great escape. This is it, Jonathan and Soren. Brian has trapped your teammates in the scales of justice and their future hangs literally in the balance. It's down to you two to try to release them, but standing between you and them is the great escape. First, you must tackle the donut dash. Then it's on to the kitchen roll crawl. But watch out for those meatballs. <laughs> Once safely through, you will take on the rolling pin run. But beware, Brian's got those tea bags out. <gasps> then you must complete the chop bar challenge, building a walkway to Brian's big bowl. Then it's up the slippery slope to the rope. The first player to reach the top must pull the release rope. Only then can your teammates escape down the freedom chute. I don't need to remind you, if you're not the winner, you'll be Brian's... <laughs> OK. Tartan Terrors, you have an overall lifeline of 18 seconds. <laughs> Busy Bees, you have an overall lifeline of Five seconds, so that's 13-second lead you have, Jonathan. How do you feel about that? I'm really excited. I think we're going to get it. You think you're going to get it? And what about you, Soren? Do you reckon you can catch up? Yeah. You reckon so? Where do you think you'll be able to catch up? Anywhere. Anywhere. Just go for it. OK. So that means you will go, Jonathan, on Brian's first whistle. Then 13 seconds later, Soren, you will go on Brian's second whistle. Good luck, teams. Ryan, it's over to you. Run for your lives. And Jonathan's off. He's into the donut dash. Well through. Oh, nearly a little trip at the end. He looked back on side, but he's into the kitchen roll crawl. So you're off. That's it. A little slip right in the beginning, but can you catch up? It has been done before. Oh, Jonathan's poor. I didn't even see him get across. I was watching Soren. He's into the chop bar challenge already. He's half completed it. Oh, Soren, you're off. You're going to go back. 
and then you were foiled by the chop bar challenge, weren't you? You know what this means, don't you? You failed to release your teammates, so you're not the winner. You're Brian's... Dinner. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Brian, over to you! Nice tea. Busy Beats, I'm really sorry. I really like you. And, Jay, Brian really loves you. But he won't mm. stop him eating you, cos rules are rules! I ah. hear you. Imagine. I like you, Jay, but I'm still gonna eat you. Ah. That went down a treat. Ah. I'm gonna enjoy you. Ah. Oh, you look tasty. Delicious. That's it from P5 Bo Young. Brian's chomping away on his five a day, but that won't keep him happy for long. So join us next time on P5 Bo Young when two teams of humunchies will fight for their freedom and try to stay out of Brian's tum. We'll see you then. Say goodbye, Brian. <coughs> oh, hey. Oh, that's shifted it. Ah. It's just been one of those days, hasn't it, Des? Yeah, you can say that again. It's just been one of those days, hasn't it, Des? No, your eyes are not deceiving you. It is not Ian Sterling. It's a lovely London. Yep. I've taken over to have a big, fab party. Woohoo! <laughs> and I've locked Ian in the cupboard. Yeah. Oh! Well, if you've locked him in the cupboard, who's going to do the Sam and Mark interview? Oh. <laughs> I wonder how we'll get on. Hello, TMI. No, it's more like, hello, TMI. Hello, hello TMI. TMI. You can't say it's it. Sorry. How right. are you doing, Ian? You all right? Sam and Mark, right. it's the moment we've all been waiting for. It's the Ian Sterling interview. Sam and Mark from TMI. What? Yeah, oh yeah. Do you, do you mind, you know, making it quick, please? Yeah, we are rehearsing for our show, Sam and Mark's TMI Friday, 5.30 on the CBC channel. Okay, 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 okay. okay. It's just one question. Okay. Uh, it's to you, Sam. Uh, it's Sam Nixon. How does Mark Rhodes... How does he do the face? No, I'm sorry. I'm not revealing that. Next question. No, no, no. I, th okay. I think we should show him. Yeah, go on. What? Oh. What? How? Look. Notice the sucked-in cheeks. Notice the raised eyebrows. Notice the piercing eyes. That is how you do the face, Ian Sterling. Right there. Wicked. Do you think, uh, do you think I can have a shot? Be my guest. Mm, no, that's, no, not quite right. Hold on. Uh, nearly, nearly. Oh, I want more. Yeah, that's it, that's exactly it. That's the face right there, Ian Sterling. You've got it. Right.